Welcome to the second lecture in the finance series. In the second lecture, we'll talk about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. What do you think the Dow Jones Industrial Average is? Please pause the lecture to answer this yourself. The correct answer is that the Dow Jones Industrial Average is a stock market index. What things do you know about the Dow Jones Industrial Average? Please pause the lecture and try to come up with facts about the Dow that you know. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is one of several indices created by Wall Street Journal editor and Dow Jones & Company co-founder Charles Dow. The other name in the index, Jones, is of his business associate, statistician Edward Jones. Do you think it is possible for someone to own a stock market index? Please pause the lecture to answer this yourself. Yes, it turns out this is possible. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is currently owned by S&P Dow Jones Indices, which is a joint venture between McGraw-Hill Financial, the CME Group, and News Corp. This joint venture also owns the S&P 500 and the oldest United States index in use, the Dow Jones Transportation Index. Do you think the Dow Jones Industrial Average was published for the first time in 1937? Please pause the lecture to answer this yourself. This is false. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is the second oldest US market index and was published for the first time in 1896. At that time, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was calculated using the top 12 stocks of the market. It was a simple sum and divide that yielded 40.94 as the first published average. Today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is a benchmark that tracks American stocks that are considered to be the leaders of the economy and are on the NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. The Dow Jones Industrial Average covers 30 large cap companies which represent major industries such as finance, technology and retailing, so the term industrial in the name is a bit outdated. The Dow is a price-weighted measure. The bigger the stock price, the larger the sway for a particular component and vice versa. This is different from indices such as the S&P 500, which are weighted by the component's market caps. The value of the Dow is not the actual average of the prices of its component stocks, but rather the sum of the component prices divided by a divisor. The value of the divisor changes whenever a company does a stock split, issues a dividend, spins off, etc., so as to generate a consistent value for the index. Let's assume there are only three stocks in the Dow. The three stocks are trading at $15, $20, and $25. What is the sum of the component prices? It's $15 plus $20 plus $25 equals $60. The company with a $20 stock has a 2 for 1 split. What does that mean that the company has a 2 for 1 split? It means that the stock now sells for $10, but there are twice as many shares available. So if you owned one $20 share of the company before, you now automatically own two $10 shares of the company. What happens to the sum? Well, the sum of the three stocks actually falls to $50 because the $20 share is now a $10 share. What is the problem with this? The value of the investment hasn't changed, but the sum is now $50 instead of $60. This is where the role of the divisor comes in. The Dow divisor is adjusted in a way that the sum is kept at $60. Only one company remains of the original group of components. Which one do you think it is? Please pause the lecture to try to answer this question. The answer is General Electric. Who or what do you think determines the components of the Dow? Please pause the lecture to try to answer this question. To many students' surprise, the answer is D, the editors of the Wall Street Journal. Remember, the Wall Street Journal is owned by Dow Jones and Company. Editors of the Wall Street Journal determine the components of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. They make changes to maintain the relevance of the Dow Jones Industrial Average in relation to the overall market. For example, as the US economy has evolved away from a manufacturing focus, steel companies have fallen off and technology companies have been added. Which companies were dropped and added in more recent years from the Dow Jones Industrial Average? 
Please pause the lecture and try to find the answer yourself. Use Google if you have to. In 2013, Alcoa, Bank of America and HP were replaced by Goldman Sachs, Nike and Visa. In 2015, AT&T was replaced by Apple. Here you can see an overview of the current components of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You can see that not all companies are listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Apple, Cisco, Intel and Microsoft are all NASDAQ listed companies that are a component of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This concludes the lecture on the Dow Jones Industrial Average.